ولقد يسرنا القرآن للذكر فهل من مدكر Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to the new short video tutorial. We are in book 1, lesson 4 and part 3. Today we will learn about pronouns in Arabic, which are called Damir. Let's say it together. Damir. Very good. First of all, what is Damir or the pronoun? Damirs are a special type of ism that is used to replace the name of a person or an object in a sentence. For example, let's say Hamid is a traitor. Hamidun Tajirun. And we want to continue to talk about Hamid. Let's say Hamid is rich in the second sentence. Hamidun Waniyun. But we don't have to repeat Hamidun in the second sentence, but instead use an appropriate pronoun. So here, instead of Hamid is rich, we can say he is rich. In Arabic, he is Hua. So our second sentence can be Hua Waniyun instead of Hamidun Waniyun. So the whole sentence will be Hamidun Tajirun Hua Ghaniyun. Hamid is a trader, he is rich. So Hua here is Damir or pronoun. Let's go ahead and learn all the pronouns of this type first and after that we will practice with them for the remaining of the video. I will list them all for you one by one, okay? We will start with the third person masculine pronouns. Hua is used for he or it for masculine singularism. Hum means they for masculine pluralism. Arabic also has separate pronouns for dual plurals. Huma is used for they too, that is masculine dual. These were for males in third person. Now let's switch to females. Hia is used for she or it for feminine singular. Huma is used for they too for feminine dual, which is the same as the dual masculine they. And finally, hunna means they for three or more for feminine plural. So far we have huwa, huma, hum, and hia, huma, hunna, translated as he, they too, and they for males, she, they too, and they for females. Now let's see the pronouns for the second person. Ante means you for masculine singular. Antuma is you too for masculine dual. Antum is you all for masculine plural. Anti is you for feminine singular. Antuma is you too for feminine dual, which is the same as you too for masculine dual. And Antuna is you all for feminine plural. So for the second person, we've got anta, antuma, antum, anti, antuma, antunna, which are translated in the same order as you, you two, and you all for masculine, you, you two, and you all for feminine. Finally, we've got a couple of pronouns left to cover for the first person, which are ana, which means I, and nahnu, which means we. There is no dual for the first person. So together we have ana, nahnu, which means I and we. That's it. I know it's a lot, but let me suggest to you an easy way to memorize these pronouns. We can turn them into a song like Ustad Asif did. Who is Brother Asif? He's the instructor of the Arabic language at the Institute of Language of Quran in Toronto, Canada. Ustad Asif, mashallah, has made his Arabic video lessons freely available to everyone on YouTube for all three books of Madin Arabic. May Allah multiply his rewards for all his efforts. What makes him special is that he learned the Arabic language at the age of 60. And after learning it himself, he decided to share his knowledge with others. And he has some very effective ways to teach the language, one of which is to turn the concepts such as these pronouns into a song for easy memorization. I will now play his song about Domir for you and I suggest you to sing along with him if you can. Ready? Anta antum antum 
ಅಂತಿ ಅಂತು ಮಾಂತುನ್ನ ಅಂತಿ ಅಂತು ಮಾಂತುನ್ನ ಅನ ನಹನು ಅನ ನಹನು ಹುವ ಹುಮ ಹುಂ ಹಿಯ ಹುಮ ಹುನ್ನ ಇಫ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಸಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಮೀ ಯು ಆರ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಸಿಂಗ್ ಬದ ವಿಲ್ ವಿಲ್ ಸಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಕೋರಸ್ ನಾವು ಇನ್ ಶಾಲ್ ಇನ್ ಕಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಸಿಂಗಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಕಾರ್ ಆರ್ ಯು ನೋ ವೈಲ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಶವರ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಸಿಂಗಿಂಗ್ ಹುವ ಹುಮ ಹುಂ ಹಿಯ ಹುಮ ಹುನ್ನ ಹುವ ಹುಮ ಹುಂ ಹಿಯ ಹುಮ ಹುನ್ನ ಅಂತ ಅಂತುಮ ಅಂತು ಅಂತ ಅಂತುಮ ಅಂತು ಅಂತಿ ಅಂತುಮ ಅಂತುನ್ನ ಅಂತಿ ಅಂತುಮ ಅಂತುನ್ನ ಅನ ನಹನು ಅನ ನಹನು ಹುವ ಹುಮ ಹುಂ ಹಿಯ ಹುಮ ಹುನ್ನ ಹುವ ಹುಮ ಹುಂ ಹಿಯ ಹುಮ ಹುನ್ನ got the idea brother there you go try to learn this damir through this song as you heard in the song it could be easier to memorize if you split the whole set of pronouns into five groups like huwa huma hum which is for third person masculine hiya huma hunna for third person feminine anta antuma antum is for second person masculine anti antuma antunna is for second person feminine group and finally ana nahnu for the first person in each of this group we have singular dual and plural except the last group ana nahnu which is singular and plural so together we have huwa huma hum hiya huma hunna anta antuma antum anti antuma antunna ana nahnu let's now try to practice with these pronouns i will show you a relevant picture and ask you which pronoun I'm looking for, and give you a few seconds to respond. Feel free to pause the video if you need more time. Keep in mind that you may not be able to tell them all correctly at your first attempt. But do your best and keep watching this video a few times until you feel comfortable with them, okay? Let's start. How do we say she? Here. Very good. So she is here. How about you for males? Anta. Awesome. Anta means you for males. And they? Whom. Very nice. They for males is whom. And you all? Antum. Good job. Antum is you all for males. How do I say I? Ana. Great. Ana means I. How about you for females? Anti. Awesome. Anti is a mu'annath form of you. And they too? Or dual they? Huma. Very good. How about they too for females? Huma. It is the same. Very good. So for both males or females or couples, we say huma for they too. How about he? Hua. That's right. Hua is he. And I want to say you all for sisters. Antunna. Very good. Antunna is you all for females. And how do I say we? Nahnu. Very nice. Nahnu is we. How about they all for sisters? Hunna. Very good. They all for females is hunna. How about you two or dual you for sisters? Antuma. That's right. Antuma. And you two for brothers? Antuma again. Very good. Notice duels are the same for both males and females. And now I have a tricky question. What if we have mixed genders in a group and I want to say they? Which dhamir should I use? 
whom. For mixed genders, we actually use whom, masculine they. Similarly, to say you all for mixed genders, we use antum. So the masculine plural pronouns also serve for mixed genders. Okay, I believe we practiced with all of the domiers that we learned today. One last question before we finish. What type of words are these domir or pronouns? Are they ism, harf, or fi'l? They are all ism, right? Because words like anta or huwa are replacing the ism like muhammadun or hamidun. So they also have to be ism. Well, that's it. I hope you found this video useful. One good news is that we will only cover four domirs in this lesson four of book one. And they are huwa, which is he or it for masculine ism. Hiya is she or it for feminine ism. Ana, which is for I. And anta means you for males. And we will slowly learn the rest of the domir over the next few lessons, inshallah. So you will have plenty time to learn and practice all this domir that we learned today. In the next video, we will start from the beginning of lesson 4, inshallah. Until the next time, wassalamu alaikum.